Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. Today I'm going to share with you a tip that helps me keep my vintage white, my light paints looking nice and sharp, specifically when you're using white and you want it to be bright and just nice and clean and sharp. So right now I've got a little thrift stand here and I've gone ahead and I've painted it vintage white and I've let it dry. And this is where my tip comes in. I've been doing this for a long time and that is at the point that I'm ready to seal. Do you see me stuffing a little bit of that white paint down into my sealer? Yeah, into my poly there, my water-based poly. Well, I'm combining the two together. Now you never want your paint to sealer ratio to be high. You don't want to change the consistency of your sealer, but by adding a little bit of that vintage white to my poly, it's gonna keep my poly nice and bright. And therefore, when I seal it, like I'm doing now, a little bit of that white pigment is gonna be into it, which matches the piece. I painted it in white and it keeps it looking just nice and bright. So if you ever feel like you are finishing up painting a piece in white and you just want it to make sure it keeps that vibrant white color, add a little bit of the paint, just a smidgen, just a little bit into your poly and then stir well and wipe it on together. And then it becomes a paint and poly all in one and you're left with a nice, bright, fresh, white coat. And of course, you can put multiple coats of this on. Another way to use it is to seal, and then go ahead, when you go to seal your second coat, add a little bit of the white paint. All right, this is the bonus part to this particular stand. I decided to use a little sponge stamp that I found. I think I got it at Michael's. It's a little rose. I love me shabby flowers. And all I'm doing, doing right now is basically taking a little bit of the black velvet, putting it on the stamp, finding a place that I want to put it, pressing hard, and, and let's pull it back a cute little faded flower. If I want, I can fill it in a little bit more, obviously with a little bit of paint, but I kind of like that faded rose look. And now what I'm gonna do is our loved eyeliner effect here at the Junk Monkey, that's what we call it, like putting on wing liner. And I'm just putting a little bit of that black, carrying it elsewhere, so it's not just in the flower, but it's balanced around the piece, around the edges. And do you see how it's popping? Boom, and we are done. This stand has since sold and found a new home. Thanks for watching.